Hey Deckers, I owed you a Expedition 33 update and I certainly have got one for you. Unfortunately, I've been absolutely infatuated with this game and as you can see from our STG companion app, I'm not the only one. Considering this has been on Xbox Game Pass as well, it's doing phenomenally well on Steam. However, the settings are locked, so we have to use our funky command, which I'll show you in a minute, to unlock them on the Steam Deck and... For the best part, XCSS on balance with anti-aliasing on medium is going to get you the best balance of performance, but it's still not quite where we'd like it to be, unfortunately, which is why it's still showing that unsupported badge. Now, to unlock the Steam Deck settings for this game, you need to go into the properties of the game, and then under general, add the launch option of Steam Deck equals zero with a space, and then percent command percent. And then when you run this, it will run with unlock settings. And I have been running this with Proton Experimental as well, just to try and get the best settings or performance out of this, although it's not made a massive difference. With these settings though, I am getting a fairly stable 30 with some dips in the game, although this does make the input lag bearable and makes the anti-aliasing look not absolutely horrendous. So having the medium anti-aliasing is definitely where we want to be, but if we try and dial that texture up to medium, it really does bring in too much input latency and makes parrying and dodging much more difficult. Huge thanks to Sandfall for giving me a key to test this out on the Steam Deck. Thanks to that, I have actually got a spare key to give away. So if you want to win yourself a copy of Expedition 33 on Steam, just leave a comment below of who your favourite character in Expedition 33 is and I'll pick a winner from the comments in the next week. So do make sure you've got notifications on for when I reply to it. As you saw with the STG companion app as well, this has also been added to GeForce Now and they have just tweaked GeForce Now as well. So now it is completely navigable with controller. So you don't even have to use the touchscreen to close those pop-ups. And it does support both the Steam and Xbox versions of Expedition 33 on the deck. Now, because this is still capped at 60 frames per second, I'm just gonna turn the performance overlay off on the Steam Deck because it will always show 60. And if you hold the start button when you're running GeForce Now, you can actually get to the in-game statistics and overlay so I can actually see exactly what the game is running as well as the stream and also my ping as well. Now because I'm on the ultimate tier, I can run this at high settings and I'm just gonna put the high default with epic anti-aliasing as well as texture, but also keep that DLSS on quality to keep things smooth, keep that stream stable and also keep that input latency to an absolute minimum. Now, believe it or not, I've actually had much better luck with my parries and dodges via GeForce Now on deck than I have with it locally because it's running so much smoother. With the input latency reduction of that ultimate tier, it is as good as playing native as long as you have the internet connection to support it. Now you can see just how good looking this game is and why it is captivating everybody Though turn-based combat is not to everyone's liking, it is so fast on that turn-based that you forget that it is turn-based in some scenarios and you just have to concentrate on trying to take down the enemies as quick as possible, as well as getting those dodge and parries right every time as well. I'll leave you with a full battle on GeForce now on the Steam Deck so you can get a better feel for the gameplay and performance overall. Let us know in the comments below who your favourite character is for that giveaway. And don't forget to have those notifications on so that you can be contacted. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.